Kamikaze, while the most potent word in aviation, does not mean what you think. This is Masaki Inuma, the first kamikaze. He was born in 1912 in Azumina, high in the mountains, west of Tokyo. At age 19, he was accepted in the civilian pilot training program at the Tokorozawa Army Aviation School. Upon graduation, he was hired as a courier pilot for Asahi, Japan's largest newspaper. Flying out of Tokyo's Tachigawa airfield, carrying photographs and news articles all over Asia, Masaki quickly became an experienced and respected pilot, noted for his quiet courage and his good nature. In 1937, Asahi astounded the world by flying a brand new Mitsubishi K-15 high-speed aircraft on a record-setting flight from Tokyo to London to celebrate the coronation of King George VI. Selecting Masaki as the pilot, they named the plane Kamikaze, after the divine wind that had saved Japan from Kublai Khan's invasion 800 years before. Using maps provided by French aviator André Japy, who had crashed on his own flight to Tokyo, Masaki and flight engineer Kenji Tsukagoshi took four days and 14 stops to make the flight to London, breaking all records for speed and distance along the way. Masaki and Kenji became global celebrities overnight. They were feted across London, Belgium, France, Germany, and Italy. When they returned to Japan, they became the first common men ever to receive a personal accommodation from the emperor himself. But there was a problem. Masaki was a poet and a pacifist, and he wrote about his concern about how airplanes, just like his beloved kamikaze, were being used in war against China. To keep him quiet, Masaki was drafted by the Imperial Army and sent to become a flight instructor in Cambodia, as far from Tokyo as possible. But on December 9, 1941, when he heard of the Japan Navy's simultaneous attacks on Singapore, Manila, and yes, Pearl Harbor, Masaki became so distraught that he walked into the propeller of a student's aircraft. Yes, he killed himself, but not to kill others. In fact, he died in protest against the actions of the Japanese Empire, and not at the end of the war, but on its opening day. Later, Asahi and the army claimed that Masaki gave his life on a bombing mission. Nothing could have been further from the truth. When Allied forces closed in on Japan's home islands years later, and a glorious name was needed to justify young men giving their lives as suicide pilots, kamikaze was the chosen word. It was never meant to mean what it means today.